At first, Beowulf was written as an old English poem, and its author is unknown. But today I will be reading you the retold story by Rob Lloyd Jones. Chapter 1 The Great Hall. Long, long ago, Denmark was a wild place. Gruesome monsters roamed the misty moors. At night, they howled and growled and shrieked and snarled. The king of the Danes, a warlord named Hrothgar, refused to be scared. He built a huge hall for himself on top of a craggy hill at the edge of the moors. The hall was made of the finest wood, decorated with ivory, silver and dazzling gold. He called it Heorot. Each night, the king invited his bravest warriors to a lavish feast of roasted meat with jugs of throffing ale. The huge hall shook with singing and laughter. The men ate and drank until they fell asleep, safe together in the warmth. But outside, something evil was rising. Chapter 2 A Monster Strikes Across the moor, a foul monster crawled from the swamp. Its name was Grendel. It had claws like knives and burning eyes. The warrior's laughter had woken it from sleep. Grendel hated laughter. The monster marched across the moors in a fit of rage. It burst upon Heorot and smashed open the doors. The warriors in Heorot were terrified. They had never seen anything so fierce. The men tried to fight, but Grendel was too strong. The monster snatched up several men and dragged them screaming to its lair at the bottom of the swamp. Heorot dripped with their blood. Grendel returned every night for months. Any man brave enough to stay in Heorot overnight didn't live until morning. King Hrothgar was heartbroken. At night, his great hall stood silent and empty on the edge of the moors. Chapter 3. A Hero Arrives Across Denmark, a coast guard watched as a warship approached the cliffs. The guard frowned. The ship was filled with Geats, enemies of the Danes. The guard rushed to challenge the warriors. Who are you? he demanded. What do you want? The Geat's leader stepped forward. His shield gleamed in the dazzling sun. I am Beowulf, he declared. I have heard the story of Grendel. Tell your king that I have come to kill his monster. Go home, the guard insisted, raising his spear. Many men have died trying to fight Grendel. Beowulf just smiled. He brushed the guard's spear aside with his palm. Then that is how I shall die too, he said. Chapter 4 Final Feast The guard led Beowulf and the geeks past lakes and bogs to where Heorot stood, towered above the moors. The geeks were stunned by the hall's beauty. Beowulf handed his guard, his, the guard his sword. Take my weapon, so your king knows I come as a friend. You'll need it again by nightfall, the guard warned. That's when Grendel comes. King Hrothgar sat inside. His face was lined with grief, but he managed a smile to greet the Geats. You have come far, he said, to a wild place. We have come to kill your monster, Beowulf replied. The king had heard many men vow to defeat Grendel, and all of them had died. This warrior, though, seemed certain. First, said the king, you must join me for a feast. The king sent for his warriors from nearby villages. The Danes and Geats ate together, swapping stories and singing songs. King Hrothgar sighed. The laughter reminded him of happier times in Heorot. Beowulf took the king's arm. Tomorrow, he promised, you will hear laughter again. Chapter 5 
Beowulf versus Grendel. Night fell. The hall twinkled with candlelight as King Hrothgar and his men left the geats to a nervous rest. Most of the geats huddled together at the back of the hall, armed with axes, knives and swords. But Beowulf sat alone in a dark corner near the doors. Beowulf's friend, Leofric, crawled over. He looked worried. Beowulf, he whispered, where is your sword? I gave it to the guard outside, Beowulf replied. Grendel fights with bare hands, so I will too. Beowulf saw the fear in his friend's face. Don't worry, Leofric, he added. We will kill this monster. An hour passed. Outside on the moors, one of the swamps bubbled. Grendel rose. The beast stomped towards Heorot, dripping with slime and hungry for blood. Grendel tore open the doors and glared inside. All of the geats lay fast asleep, except for one. Beowulf crouched in the shadows, his steely eyes fixed on the murdering monster. Grendel reached for Leofric, and Beowulf pounced, grasping the monster's arm. Grendel writhed and rashed, but Beowulf would not let go. Grendel swiped and slashed, but Beowulf would not let go. The hall shuttered, benches shattered, but still Beowulf refused to let go. He tugged the monster's arm and tore it from its body. Grendel roared in pain. The monster smashed out of the hall and charged into the night, staggering across the moor. Beowulf stood holding Grendel's up dripping arm. He knew the monster would bleed to death. Grendel was defeated. The next day, Heorot shook with laughter. King Hrothgar hosted a huge feast and rewarded the Geats with golden treasures. But even as they celebrated Beowulf's victory, something else was stirring out on the moors. <laughs>